One of my subscribers requested that I should do the 2023 grade 9 math for internal candidates. So in this video, we are going to look at the 2023 uh, grade 9 math for internal candidates paper 1. So in this video, we are going to focus mainly on section A. Okay, so the first question says, write this number correct to two decimal places. Okay, so they want you to write this number here to two decimal places. All right, so they want us to have two numbers after the decimal. All right, so we are going to have one, two, because they want us to write this number correct to two decimal places. It means that our target value is five. Then we check the neighbor. The neighbor five on the, on the right is more than five. So because the neighbor of five on the right is more than five, uh, we are going to round the five up, meaning we are going to get a one and add it to this. So we are going to have uh, 41.9. The five will become a six. Okay. So we look for this number here. So we have 41.96. So the answer was A. The answer is A. All right. Number two says, which of the following shapes is used to represent the start of a program in a flowchart? So, A, we have a diamond. A diamond is called a decision box and is not used at the start of the flowchart. Then, the parallelogram is used for entering or displaying, so it's not used at the start of the flowchart. Then, the rectangle is also not used at the start of the program of the flowchart, uh, then the oval shape is used at the start or at the end when you want to end the flowchart. So the answer here is D. Number three, find the value of 11 plus minus 4. So first of all, you need to say positive times negative, the negative will win. So we have a negative. So this is same as 11 minus 4. 11 minus 4 is 7. So the answer is this one, positive 7. All right, number four. John spent the following hours to study. He spent three hours, one hour, two hours, two hours, zero, one, two, three, and two over a period of nine days. Find the mod. So for you to answer this question, you need to understand what the mod is. The mod is the most appearing number or the most frequent number so let's look at three how many threes do we have we have one two we have two threes let's look at ones how many ones do we have we have one two we also have two ones how many twos we have one two three four so we have four twos how many zeros we have one zero so two is appearing the most so meaning two is the mod so two is the mod the answer is c number five find the value of six squared plus uh, three cubed so what you have to know is that six squared does not mean six times two it means six times six plus uh, three squared is three times three times three Okay, so 6 times 6 is 36, plus 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27. So 36 plus 27 is 63. So the answer is A. Number 6, which of the following is an irrational number? So what you have to understand first is what irrational number means. What, are what is an irrational number? An irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction or a number that cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Okay? So here, this one is already a fraction. So this one, which means this one is rational. This one is irrational. This one, the square root of 4 is 2. And 2 is rational because you can write 2 as a fraction by saying 2 over 1. But this one, this one is the square root of a non-perfect square number. So any square root of non-perfect 
square number it will give you decimals that are non-recurring non but decimals that go forever so meaning this one is irrational so this is an irrational number number seven given that x degrees and 43 degrees are complementary angles find the value of x first of all you need to understand what complementary angles are what are complementary angles complementary angles are angles are two angles that when you add them you get 90 degrees so when you add this and this you should get 90 degrees so what you are saying is x degrees plus 43 43 degrees you should get 90 degrees that's what it means when they say complementary when you add these two you should get 90 so to solve for x you are going to take this to the other side then you have x is equal to 90 minus 43 which gives x as a uh, 47 degrees so meaning c is the answer number eight in the following diagram triangle abc and triangles adc are congruent so you have to understand that when they say congruent it means those triangles or those shapes are equal they have the same they are, they are equal in length they are also equal in in angles okay so they are saying angle abc a b c is and triangle a d c a d c are congruent so this triangle and this triangle are equal you can even see that this side is equal to that side then this side is equal to this side that's why they have put one here one here two there two here okay now they are saying which of the following angles are equal which of the following angles are equal angle a d c and angle a c b a c d so angle a d c and angle a c d a c d no this angle cannot be equal to this angle okay then let's move to the next one angle a c b angle a c b meaning this angle and angle c a d angle c a d this angle here so this angle here indeed it is equal to this angle here okay because again if you look at this shape again this is like a, a parallelogram okay this line is parallel to this line and this line is parallel to that line okay in other words these are two parallel lines and this one is acting as a transversal and the z shape is being formed so meaning this angle here is equal to that angle okay so the answer here is b number nine the, the venn diagram shows set a and b so we have set a and set b the shaded region represents all right so you can see that they have shaded everywhere except for the intersection of a and b so meaning the unshaded part here is a intersect b okay but because this part is not shaded it means they have shaded elsewhere they have shaded every part other than this so meaning a intersect b complement they have shaded everywhere except for this okay a intersect b complement all right number 10 how many faces does the solid below have okay so this solid has it the front face the front face i'll call it a then it has this back face i'll call it b then it has this another back face i'll call it c but again down here it has another face this face down from down here i'll call it d so it has it one two three four so it has four four faces so the answer is a so when here, if you want me to make another video for section B, just write section B in the comment section below. Thank you very much. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, hit the like button, comment and share. Goodbye.